and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make some notepads and for that I printed out this print paper here. I leave a link in the info box below for it. Um, I used quite a lot of time to make this sheet so I hope you will enjoy it. I am going to cut out every piece of paper there is on this piece of paper and I'm taking my time with it. After I cut out all my sides, I have a few of them here, I'm using a piece of grey cardboard and I am just using my paper cutter machine here to cut out a strip that has the same height as the papers that we just cut out. So I'm just lining it up so that it is like I want it to and then I'm going to cut this cardboard like that. So I have the th strip here for the pages and I am using one of the pages to see how big my backside for these notepads are going to be and then I'm just going to cut out a few of them so I have enough for all my notepads. So I am going to take 10 pages of the same type. There is two kind of uh, uh, different notepads here. There is the one with the squares and the one with the lines. So I'm just taking 10 pages and lining them up so they are all lying the same way. Placing them together with one of these grey backgrounds, putting a clamp on them. And I can make another one with the lines here. Taking 10 pages. There we go. Lining them up carefully. And again, putting a background on there. I had that. And now I'm just going to take my glue, place a tiny bit of a piece of paper and using a toothpick to go down the spine of this little notepad with some glue. I'm doing this on both of them and then I will let them dry. I 3D printed this paper holder for all my notepads. It's right here. And now I can just put in some of my notepads in this little paper holder. I like this. It turns out really good. If you don't have a 3D printer and can print the 3D file that I linked in the info box below, I will also link to this piece of paper that you can print out in any color of papers you want and then just cut it out like I'm doing right here and turn this one into a paper holder as well. Um, a good idea is to print it on some uh, thicker paper and then you can always uh, glue on some prettier thinner paper on it before you cut it out. This way you can make it uh, really really pretty as well. I have this hole puncher that fits perfect for the little hole so I'm just going to punch it out here. Uh, if you don't have that, you can use an X-Acto knife. I'm using this flat nose plier to bend all the bends and I want the uh, gray line, the cut line and the bent line on the inside of this little paper holder. So I'm just gonna bend it so it's on the inside. I'm going to use a tiny bit of paper glue so that I can glue together this little paper holder. Just placing a line all the way up this line here. And I am just going to place the two parts together and using my flat nose plier to keep it together until it dries. Sorry about the hair. Then I am folding the bottom just to... Uh, putting a tiny bit of glue on these small flaps here on each side, folding them downwards and folding over this one flap, holding it for a second. And I'm going to put glue on the other flap here and then just closing it down, making sure everything is straight and neat. And you can use the flat nose, pliers, nose, pl flat nose plier to um, push down the flaps. And there you have a p 
paper piece for putting in your notepads. And if you're using some really nice uh, paper, you can make them really pretty. For those of you that have a 3D printer, you can 3D print these paper trays as well. I always uh, print three of them and I'm connecting them a little crooked here. That's the way mine goes together, so I'm just gonna do the same right here. But you can line them up in the way you like, just removing a bit of excess uh, glue. So today we made these, the paper tray and the paper holder, and of course the notepads that you can place in the paper tray and the paper holder as well. So thank you for watching. Happy crafting!